Well, picking the perfect Valentine gift does not have to break the bank. You can consider going with something handmade that comes from the heart. But we definitely need some expert guidance. Yvonne Schiller and Wendy Mason from the Craft Bar in Sarasota are here to help us out. So handmade gifts are great when you're eight years old, but now that we're uh, adults, more is expected of us, so we need your help. Okay. Tell us about the Craft Bar for people that haven't been. So first, the Craft Bar is a DIY studio. We host um, crafting events and classes throughout the week, the month, the year, <laughs> um, and they're fun. It's not just going and making a craft. We have a good time. It's guaranteed fun when you're there at the craft bar. And you can bring your own beverage. Oh, all right. Mm. Whether your well, beverage the is fun. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Now we're going. Power <laughs> tools and beverages, though. Explain a little bit for those of you know. I don't own a ton of tools. Surprise. Um, explain how people can use the tools and the project patterns that you already have. So when you come into the craft bar, we have different crafts that we do. So you'll come in for a certain craft. We have all of the supplies on hand that are going to be needed. And then we give you full instruction for to do, complete the whole project. Everybody's supplies are just a little bit different. You know, somebody might choose pink flowers. Somebody might choose blue paint, whatever. So even though we're all doing the same craft, Everybody walks out with something different. Oh, how great. All and right. we won't let you mess up. If it's looking eh, not yeah. so good, we'll help you. All right, so that's you good. leave with yeah. a good thing. There is a hammer on Les and Pam's side of the table, yes. so I'm a little nervous. So let's take Don't a worry look. about it. I got a brush and I know how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Kid yourself. Is this an all you can craft bar? Like all you can craft? Or is there a limit to crafting? It's an all you can all drink. You can. <laughs> all, yeah. all you can drink. As long as you then bring we see it. what crafts you come. bring it. If you all bring right. it, you can drink it. All right, so you have a special Valentine's Day inspired um, project for us. Let's take a look at yes. what it's supposed to look like, because I always think that's important, because it doesn't always end up looking like that at our table. Nice. All right, so this is cute. A little floral um, mason Ooh, jar. I'm getting it. Oh. Great. Oh, All right, so let's start on Les's side. I'm ready. We're going to get him started. Okay, so we're starting with a basic piece of wood. Um, you are, we have chose to <laughs> use a nice <laughs> dark wood. antiquing wax to give it a little color. So you're that's just going to go nice, don't get it on your shirt. Don't and don't, it. yeah, that's a lot. Okay. So you don't need I a like whole to lot. I like start with a lot. I like, See, and then I thin it out. And you want to try to go all the way down, Long a stroke. nice even all the stroke. Way down. Long okay. stroke. Oh, all the way worry down. All the way down. Because we want to. Do that. Yeah, it's not paint; it's wax. So we want to spread it out. Go all Les, the way down. Let's move that coffee all cup out of the way. way we want our viewers. Whoa, hold it. We want them to see your handiwork. The, but see, yeah, here we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Right okay. Now. So much for okay, that. Okay, I'm doing it now. You can go to Pam because so this. All right, so Les is going to keep working, and then obviously that would have to dry. Yes, it will have to dry. If you do it normally, it doesn't take very long to dry. He's got a nice thick coat on there. Um, if you get a thick coat on it, you can wipe it off with a paper towel or a rag. So okay. you kind of get more of a, a rustic finish. She's hammering over me, but that's okay. It looks like, it almost looks like it's stained wood. So I like the, yes. and that paint does it. All right, so what's Pam yes. doing now? Okay, so Pam is such an intelligent woman, she just figured it out all on her own. Yeah, she knows. She's um, an independent woman. So we give you, when we do any type of string art, we'll we have a template because, you know, we, we need something, some type of guidance. So we taped down the template, and she's just going to go about a half to three quarters of an inch apart. She's going to hammer in these small finish nails. Okay. Um, make sure you don't hammer all the way through the wood, or otherwise you're going to need a tetanus shot <laughs> when you pick it up. <laughs> and you, when you're in a straightaway, like right through here, so yeah. right through here, you're Go as fast as possible. Your nails, can be, your nails can be a little further apart. Oh, See, this is the guidance it. part that I think we all yeah, like. Yeah, that's if I tried why to you have to go to these places. Myself at home, it would be a disaster. Me, Ooh, Ooh, a Linda's allergic. Yes. Well, that right. it is. It's the pollen. Well, it is. It's the pollen from the All right, so let's move on to Linda's step here. Okay, Linda probably has the most difficult she step. She does. Pop, it took me a long time this up to a little bit somewhat so master this. Okay. And I don't think I have. But anyway, so this is where you start stringing your actual nails. Um, you're going to take one nail, which I've already tied a knot around, very simple knot, double okay. knot, you know, and then you're going to start by wrapping it around the nail, Okay. and you're going to wrap it and go to the other nail, and wrap it and go to the other nail. You want to keep a taunt taunt hold on it, I guess that's the word I'm looking yeah. for, because uh, if you let go of it, it will all just come gotcha. unraveled like that. So you absolutely have to keep a tight hold on the string itself. Use, um, you know, you can use floss if you want, but this is just a basic 
string. And she is aspiring to this next step, right? That's what yes. she's doing. Where yes. you would remove the paper? Yeah, once you get it, once you have all the string done, you can remove the paper. Okay. Um, or if you get the nails in, you can remove the paper afterwards and then start stringing. I like to go ahead and have the paper under it so that, because you'll notice up at the top, I didn't oh. put nails on absolutely everything. Gotcha. So I like to know what line I'm on and it gives me kind of a, a guide to go by. Well, what I love I here it. is, and Pam, this will be all on your handiwork with your nails, we yeah. spell out love. Oh, nice. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, on that, our original, we, it says <laughs> yeah. Mason, but it's Valentine's like Day. It. Although so Mason would have worked because that's my last name. So while Linda continues to work, what the next, the final step? The final oh. step is your floral oh. arrangement. Can you do this wrong? No. Right. You cannot do that wrong. <laughs> and it's very easy to pull them out and redo them. Okay. Yeah, if you go, ugh. You just kind of shove them in there. <laughs> Les, Les has a question. And will then, will oh, this sorry. come off the table? <laughs> yeah, that's my fingers. It will. Yes. <laughs> this is why we come to you instead of trying to do it yeah. at our own home. Yeah, because when you come to us, it gets all over our table. That's okay. And We're going to clean it up. Yeah, and that will come off with soap. How and fun. Okay. Yeah, all right, well, I know you have a whole bunch of events coming up. You're doing some Ew. things with, uh, with J Dub's Brewing. Yes, so mm -hmm. exciting. And then you have some other paint specific classes. This is a great thing to do for your honey, with your honey, with your friends and family. The craft bar is on Pineapple Avenue in downtown Sarasota. Oh, you can craft. Yeah, that's right. To find out more about all the <laughs> upcoming great. events, you want to go to the craft bar mm -hmm. website, thecraftbarfl.com. Coming up next, Next, we get some Valentine's love songs from the Fab Four. Watch Good Morning Suncoast on ABC7, weekday starting at 5.